Hi guys, it's Melody Lane and Alex. Yeah. So we're doing this card. Okay, so we've tried this video twice live already and it didn't work. The internet, we've reset it and nothing is working. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record this live. We're not editing, so it'll all be just like live and we're uploading it as a premiere. That means you can still chat live in the first set of it. Yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll be able to chat back with you. We won't yes. be able to see your chat in the video because we're doing this beforehand. Yeah, so watch for me in the live chat because I get to chat with you. Yes, So and me. we're doing this card. So we did this card in my monthly crop for all of you who support at $5 or more on patreon.com slash Melody Lane, get a monthly crop plus like 900 on my files. Plus you get to hang out with me in a Zoom. There's like 880. There's, I don't know. We've been adding a lot. Okay. There's Anyways. almost 900. There will be 900. There will be 1,000. There will be 1,500. That's a lot. Yeah. For um, $2. Yeah. You get them for a, as little as $2. Yeah. So this card is a gatefold card, and this kind of keeps it shut without putting a band on it. And you and can. It looks like the butterflies are floating. Up. Or falling down you can pull it up or down so we have this and then the cricket draws that and you can color it I started to color I didn't even finished so really this this video is only to show you how to put this part together this just has layers you glue them on you fold the card here really easy so before we get started on that we got to do a few shout outs Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Patricia, Trisurla, Melody, Lori, Susan, Marcia, Terry, Monica, Sarah, Kim, Beth, Debbie, Holly, Sue, Nikki, Allison, Vicki, Robin, Elena, Joanne, Jude, Sherry, Dee, Annie, Lori, Crystal, Paige, Tracy, Becky, Colleen, Karen, Jody, Trish, Beth, Carol, Simlin, Lori, Alicia, Bonnie, Cassie, Jeanette, Heather, Rowan, Deborah, Barbara, Betty, Carissa, Cheryl, and Darlene. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we're going to go over here. Uh, this is where you get all of my projects at MelodyLaneInspired.com. I have clicked on support our projects. I have put in the password that I share with you. And we're already on the theme new, although you can uh, go to the theme butterflies. Yes, there's a theme for butterflies. And this card is in the butterfly card. Uh, where is it at? Page two. Here it is. So you just click this open and then you'll have another open button and that will be it. So you can open it. There we go. Customize, but yours will say copy and edit. So that is the card. The Cricut will draw in there. It's still coming. But let's go over and put it together. And Alex is here to help answer the chat. But since there is no chat, <laughs> you have to ask questions that the chat would normally ask. Uh oh. So you have to pay attention. Okay, so you have this is the butterfly. This is the back to the butterfly, okay? So that fits like right that. So we're just going to set this aside. And then we have this piece that also looks like the butterfly, but it has a line down the center. And then we have these two crazy pieces. This looks like an Easter bunny of some sorts, doesn't it? Kind of look like it. And this looks like some kind of different butterfly. These are half of the butterfly. They both have a score line. So you know these are different, they have the score line. And then we have this piece so we know where to place our finished butterflies on top of this, okay? So we don't need this one yet. 
So we're going to start with these two. We're going to fold them in half on the score line. What is contouring? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even talk about contour. That's design space class. All you have to do is open this file and use it. So when it's folded in half, you can see it fits on half of my butterfly. So you line this up to that line that the Cricut drew on there for you. But we're going to go ahead and fold this one. And this is a bone folder. You can use your scraper too to make sure that it's creased well. And this one fits right there. So we're going to use the Barely Art glue, or you can use Art Glitter glue. Art Glitter glue dries faster. But Art Glitter Glue, getting it in the winter time is hard because if it freezes, it will no longer work. So we're putting glue on that and we're going to line this up right on the line. And I'm just going to open this up and kind of make sure it's on here correctly so you don't see any extra. So it's only glued that piece, and then you have this piece. We need to keep this like that. We're not gluing this piece, at least not yet. So now we're gonna put this down and make sure that fits properly, and now we're gonna glue this piece. If I'm going too fast, you can always rewind the video, pause the video, rewind, and go back if yours doesn't turn out so well. And I'm going to push it right up against that one. I'm going to lift it up. The good thing about the glue not drying quickly is because you can still move it around. So that looks good. The back looks good when it's closed. I'm going to push these in here more. It's dry, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put glue on the back of the butterfly and then we're gonna glue this piece down. And get a little bit in between the little spots here on the edge. Is this when we're asked again what kind of glue we're using? Barely glue. Barely art glue. Barely art glue. <laughs> you sound so <laughs> funny. Okay. Now we're going to put this on. Lift it up. Move it in place. You can color in between here too, like you could color that if you want. You could use sparkly paper behind it or sparkly paper um, with the butterflies, like I did in the other one. You can do use anything you want. So now we're going to put glue, glue this down. And then we're gonna glue it here and we're done. It's so simple. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue all the way around this one. It's a lot of glue. I know. And we're going to put this down. Glue that down. You do not want to glue these to it. Explain what that is. Like, what is that opening? This is opening to lock the card into place. So when you folded those things in half, those are what's, you don't glue the, the folded parts. Right. But for some reason, 
That should be fine. And then we put glue on here. And I just use all cardstock. You can use craft board for like this back piece. The reason, now you could just use this, but the reason I didn't is because I originally did just use this. And then the butterflies kept falling down to the bottom of the card. But this one will keep it in place. So wait a minute. There. So that shows you where to do it. So when the card is on here, when this is on here, you will know where Flatten out that glue, stick it real well. Now, you can see the, you want to put the flaps of the card like in here and in here. So that will stay, it'll keep the card closed. You definitely want to glue those middle pieces close together. Very close. I don't yeah. I feel like you didn't get Oh, well, I got it. Close enough. So now it'll sit up like this and the butterflies will not fall down to the bottom or just fall when you take it out like I did the first time I made it. So I'm like, oh, I need something in there that will keep it right in its place. And you can just pull it up or down. And then you have your card. The Cricut draws all of this for you, and you can leave it that way, or you can color it. Or you could do what Jamie Leonard did, and she used foil. It was so pretty. And then she even painted the foil. It was beautiful. But you can just leave it without coloring it, or you can color it. You can paint it. Uh, you could even deboss this on watercolor paper and then watercolor paint it without using the pen marks. It's beautiful that way. And some people have changed it up a little. Uh, somebody put a window here and then made like a window in here. You can change this to be anything you want. I also have, we have Gnome Valentines with this. I also made it a heart with this. And somebody else, Jill, I think was... She put it in like this in our crop. So you folded one like that and then one side like that. And it might be easier for you to put it in that way. All right. Isn't that pretty? This is five by seven and just fits in a normal five by seven envelope. All right. Now, if you have questions, make sure you ask me in the live chat when the chat is there and I will be there to answer them for you. And Thanks, if you're guys. Not there and you're watching this on replay, we'll get them in yeah, the Yeah, in the comments. Go ahead and leave a comment. And please, thank you for your likes. Thank you for clicking the like button. I really appreciate it. And for subscribing. It really helps me out when you subscribe. And it's completely free. All right. Should we say goodbye? I guess. It's so weird not being live with you guys. I miss you. I'm glad I got to go live in one video. We did the dinosaur card. Where's your dinosaur? So okay. if you missed the last video today, this was really cute. Alex designed this card. It says you are worrisome. Isn't that fun? I love it. So make sure you see that video and we'll see you. Thursday. Thursday Night Live, yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it might be a really cool card. I'm working on it. Bye guys. Toodles.